hey, it's Leslie Omen from Hungry Heavy Crafts. And last week, I think, was International Scrapbooking Day. And unfortunately, I didn't get to scrapbook. But you've probably noticed in my YouTube channel that I haven't actually been doing a lot of scrapbooking lately. I've been doing more card making. But I thought that seeing as I wasn't able to join in in the scrapbook fun, what I might do is give you a tour of some of my scrapbooks. So stay tuned and you'll have some of my scrapbooks coming up soon. They are a bit older so you'll see some of the older products in it but definitely I'm sure you'll be able to find some inspiration and feel free to use my designs as templates to get you started on your own scrapbook pages. This is my most recent scrapbook. My daughter's now five so that probably is an indication of how long ago it was since I started scrapbooking but I'll walk you through. First of all, I've got quite an artsy fartsy one. I've used embossing paste here to do the word wipeout. And this is a story about how I crashed and, and, and burned, as it were, in the snow, and which is how I hurt my back and subsequently had to have back surgery. But I thought that the embossing paste was quite a cool way to um, kind of look like snow. This is another artsy one. Uh, a lot of inking here, a couple of um, print and cuts from the silhouette and I was doing a, a challenge I believe to do a page about me so I thought I would do something a little bit different to my normal style so you can't really see in the light there, it's shining a bit but it's really, really artsy, almost like an art journal. Over here I'm documenting when we went to Peppa Pig World and it was a nice way to use lots of photos in a grid but also incorporate a couple of other embellishments and in here I've sewn together some vellum to create a pocket with a scalloped edge and I've got the actual tickets and things in here along with a few um, like die cut words that says like unforgettable, um, fun day, things like that. Another kind of artsy one um, and lots of distressing going on here. We've got the raggedy edge, um, some lace, some of the bigger fonts as well. There's a lot of red here. You can probably tell that these are scan photos. And um, this was how I thought that I was having a girl. I was convinced that I was having a girl even though we had no evidence of the fact, which um, was quite interesting because I think my daughter, I did have a girl, my daughter is the first Miss Omen in like five generations or something like that. So everybody else thought I was having a boy, but no, I, I thought I was having a girl. Guess who was right? This is another, just a fun one, uh, using some jelly bean soup products, I believe. I did this for a, another challenge and I added and made these little pinwheels here along with some of these numbered bits and pieces. Ah, okay. So I, I'm probably going to need to read the story here, but yeah, it was a story about Piper on her birthday and she made a wish by blowing out the candles and she said that she wished for gnomes and it took us ages to figure out what she meant by gnomes. Uh, so in the end I actually uh, we got it out of her whenever we went to a homeware store and she rushed up and she was so excited about seeing the gnomes. So I used my silhouette and I and um, I drew this myself on the iPad and incorporated that into a design. And at this here I made with some washi tape on a piece of baker's twine and then I cut the little phrase along the edge to give a feathered effect. These are actually Project Life cards that I've stuck back to back with a little bit of paper in between just to act as a hinge. I don't know about you, but if you're anything, if your family's anything like mine, you have one kid and then they're asking, when are you having the next one? When are you having the next one? And this was just a fun, colorful layout about how we're happy being a family of three, at least for now. And um, I also used the negative of some of my silhouette cuts to add a little bit more of a 
title onto it and I did that so it coordinated with this die cut here. This page here was for a magazine, a commission for the magazine. It was the scrapbook magazine in the UK. Unfortunately, it's not in print anymore, which is sad because I miss it. But um, I've layered up a couple of little frames here. And I really went through a phase of adding some, of some twine all scrunched up to give a bit more of a whimsical effect. And I'm, I was also loving buttons. You'll see in a couple of my pages here that I was adding a lot of flair and also doing some more embellishment layering too. This is another page that um, I made featuring my daughter Piper. And we've got some flair again um, and I also used, I think also this was Jelly Bean Soup products as well for another um, challenge. But um, I cut out these little raindrops and then used some stitching to sew them down so it looks like raindrops coming down. Uh, and that ties in with my theme because Piper had her little umbrella and although it wasn't raining at that point there was loads of puddles can you see there she's just jumping in the muddy puddles oh my gosh she was so messy that day but I did get some good photos some scrap worthy photos a Christmas layer now and uh, <laughs> this was one of the cute things that Piper had said she yeah, we got some Christmas jumpers in the sale I think it was like Christmas Eve yeah it must have been Christmas Eve or something and it really didn't feel very Christmassy at all and um, it was really warm outside well certainly wasn't frosty and we were explaining to you that it was Christmas Eve and you couldn't really grasp the, or she couldn't really grasp the concept because she was like, but it can't be Christmas, but it's not even snowing. So it, it was just one of those funny moments that I'll always remember of the cuteness um, and the innocence of kids and the things they say. So cute. This was another magazine layout. And it, uh, it was basically documenting the story of me and some of my friends that were, were in school with me. And we were having a girls get together in the summer of 2014 and my friend Ruth here in the middle took us geocaching and so that's why I've used this little symbol here which I find in some of my project life cards and I replicated this design all over and added lots of color because it was such a fun day and we had a great time and we've even been out geocaching since then it was great I remember finding my first cache such fun. This was another one for the magazine. And this is my daughter Piper and her best friend Sophia. And I think we were on holiday in the Cotswolds or something like that. And we went to the zoo. And these two are like siblings. They're not siblings, but they love each other to bits. And then they get fed up with each other. And it's just a nightmare. <laughs> they are so like siblings that way. And um, I. I've once again added some twine here, but also used some circles to bring in a scattering of embellishments to the page. Here I've got some little, little plastic sticks. They're actually like cocktail sticks, but not wooden ones. Uh, and I've wrapped some paper and some washi tape around them to create a little flag. <laughs> I forgot this was in here. This was, um, this was Piper's scrapbook page where she joined me when I was doing some scrapbooking one day and well yeah she's done really well <laughs> i think we need to teach her about less is more perhaps but as she was like three four at the time well we'll give her a pass this is a really old one i rescued it from another uh, scrapbook that was falling apart and it's Craig and I on our wedding day with Bear, Bear from the Big Blue House, Bear in the Big Blue House TV show. And um, yeah, oh, Bear, love Bear. Another slightly older one, um, a bit artsy fartsy, but I've used embossing paste here to get some lovely texture onto this beautiful minty colored paper here. And for the journaling, I have used like a pocket and put some journaling in the pocket like this and it was Piper's first visit to the beach can you see how like absolutely mesmerized she is when you lift the the bucket to create a sandcastle she's like 
oh my gosh, is this magic? So cute. So this photo is from 2010. So this page is uh, an older one as well. I think also rescued from another scrapbook album that was kind of falling apart a bit. I have cut into the background paper here to almost create like little clips, almost like photo corners that come around the side of the, the central panel here. And um, for this, this was before I had my silhouette because I remember writing this and then drawing around it and cutting it with my with my craft knife. So, <laughs> so that's all my pages, a lot of pipers in this album here. I hope you enjoyed having a little scrapbook tour. And although I didn't have any scrapbook layouts to share with you for International Scrapbooking Day, maybe you'll find some inspiration there. Thank you for watching and you can see many of the photos of these layouts over at HungryHappyCrafts.com. Thanks everyone, have a great day and happy scrapping or crafting whatever is your jam. Bye!